1952, the FCC needed to make a decision about the future of American color television broadcasts. There were two competing systems, the RCA dot sequential system and the CBS field sequential system. The dot sequential system required three electron guns that fired at red, green, and blue dots on a color TV screen. The field sequential system had a rotating set of red, green, and blue filters over a black and white screen, which displayed alternating colors of the image as the filters rotated. Although the CBS system had better resolution and brighter colors than the RCA system, it was not compatible with millions of existing black and white sets, and so the FCC chose the RCA system over the superior CBS design. More than a decade later, NASA looked for a method to broadcast live color video images from the lunar surface during the Apollo missions. The standard RCA color system, though, required too much power and too much bandwidth to transmit a color signal from the moon. What was NASA's solution? They rebuilt a CBS color camera design, which transmitted a signal that could be converted to an RCA color image back on Earth. Who built the new CBS color camera for the Apollo moon missions? RCA. Visit BAE.com for more surprising space facts.